Parkland Hospital is a large safety net hospital that serves the medically indigent patient population in Dallas County. Um, we just recently moved into a brand new hospital, um, close to 900 beds, and uh, in spite of that, we're oftentimes at full capacity. In 2009, we started this program as a creative solution to improve upon the resource utilization with our existing resources and offer patients who require long-term antibiotics for a variety of infections. It could be a heart valve infection, a bone infection, um, septic arthritis, joint infection, um, that require four to six weeks or more of antibiotics and happen to be uninsured or underinsured. The ability to access an option whereby they could be discharged from the hospital early and go home and self-administer the IV antibiotics themselves. So typically, outpatient parenteral antimicrobial therapy, OPAT, is um, delivered with uh, home health services, um, and perhaps a patient is using a pump to administer antibiotics at home and intermittently um, having access to a home health nurse, or they may go to an infusion center to get their antibiotics daily, um, or they may be uh, sent to a skilled nursing facility where they're not occupying an acute bed and they can complete their prescribed course of antibiotics um, in a, a subacute setting. Patients that are uninsured or underinsured, a majority of whom we see at Parkland, for example, would not be able to access any of those options. And they would have had to stay in the hospital um, for the entire duration to get their therapy. And what we've essentially done is given them a choice now by kind of thinking outside the box of the hospital and coming up with a creative way where, whereby they can safely and effectively complete treatment courses at home. And what we've done is we've taught our patients at a fourth grade literacy level, recognizing early on that our patient population may be at a lower formal literacy level, but that does not correlate with health literacy. Um, and so by creating education material that um, was relevant and comprehensible for this pa for our patient population, and then teaching and training them at the bedside on multiple occasions how to do this safely and effectively at home, and then testing them for competency to ensure that what we're doing is really a safe discharge from the hospital to the home in that transition of care model, that we've been able to successfully have our patients, now almost more than 2,000 patients that we've taken care of, treated at home instead of having to stay in the hospital to complete long courses of antibiotic therapy. We looked at our data uh, after running the program for about for the first four years. And the data that we had uh, looked at was specifically readmissions. So 30-day readmission rates for our patients um, who were taking care of themselves versus patients who were leaving Parkland Hospital with the ability to access some of the standard OPAT services because they had some insurance, whether it be home health nursing or another form of standardized OPAT. And what we found was that our patients had a 47% lower 30-day readmission rate than patients that had some insurance and were able to access standard forms of OPAT. So not only is it safe, but it's also effective. And I think from a resource um, utilization standpoint, we were able to free up 28,000 hospital bed days in the first four years of operation, really improving um, resource utilization so that those beds can be occupied by more acutely ill patients that need to be seen, and a cost savings of close to $40 million over the first four years.